Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at solving equations with fractional expressions. So we have the problem solve algebraically for x and we're looking at 3x over 2 plus 5 over 7 equals 6x plus 5 over 14. Now from my experience working with students, I've noticed that they like solving problems like this by getting rid of each of the fractions in this problem. So we're going to use this concept of least common multiples to get rid of the 2, 7, and the 14 in each of these denominators. So we need to ask ourselves, what is the least common multiple of 2, 7, and 14? And uh, just for a quick recap, let's say we want to list the multiples of 7, it would be 7, 14, 21, and so on. So after a little bit more thought, we arrive at 14 being the least common multiple of 2, 7, and 14. So we're going to take that least common multiple and we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by that least common multiple. So that is, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 14. And I'm going to write 14 as 14 over 1, so we can really illustrate this concept of fraction multiplication. So now we're going to take care of the right side of this equation first, because it's a little bit easier to simplify. We have a 14 in the numerator, and we have a 14 in the denominator of the two fractions we're multiplying. So we could simplify this because 14 divided by 14 is 1. We could cancel out these 14s. So now, on the right-hand side of this equation, all we're left with, we have 6x plus 5. That's all that's left in the numerator. And in the denominator, all that's left is 1. So we could just look at 6x plus 5 over 1 and just call it 6x plus 5 because anything divided by 1 is just equal to itself. So now we're going to use the distributive property to take care of the left-hand side of this equation. So we're going to multiply 14 times 3x over 2, and we're going to multiply 14 times 5 over 7. So first we have, I'm going to write it as 14 over 1 times 3x over 2, and now we're going to be adding 14 over 1 times 5 over 7. So now I'm going to section off each of these terms. I'll spread out this equal sign a little bit. So we have two terms that are going to simplify. We're going to take care of the first term first. So now we have a 14 in the numerator and we have a 2 in the denominator. And now remember 14 divided by 2 is 7, so we could cross off 14 and 2 and we could replace 14 with 7. Since 14 divided by 2 is 7. And now we could do something similar for the second piece. We have a 14 in the numerator and we have a 7 in the denominator. So we could look and say 14 divided by 7 is 2. So we could cross off 14 and 7 and replace 14 with 2. So now when we go to the next line, we could simplify this first term by looking at the numerator. We have 7 times 3x, which is 21x. In the denominator, all we're left with is 1. So we could similar as before, we could just cross out this denominator since 21x divided by 1 is just 21x. And now the second piece, what do we have left? Well, in the numerator we have 2 times 5 is 10, and in the denominator we have 1 times, well just all that's left is 1, so we have 10 over 1, which will once again simplify to 10 divided by 1 is 10, so it gets rid of this denominator. And now we can just set this equal to we're just going to rewrite 6x plus 5. So now notice how this initial form, all of the denominators are gone, and now we have a simple algebraic equation to solve. So now we're going to get the x's together. We're going to subtract 6x from both sides. And we have 21x minus 6x is 15x. We can just bring down this plus 10. And now this is equal to, we have 6x minus 6x is going to cancel. So all that's left on the right-hand side is going to be 5. And now we're going to get the x variable alone, so we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. And now on the left-hand side, 10 minus 10 will cancel. So all we're left with is 15x. And this is going to be equal to 5 minus 10 is negative 5. So now the last step for solving for x, we're going to divide both sides by 15. And now 15 divided by 15 will cancel, because 15 divided by 15 is 1. And now all we're left with is x is equal to negative 5 over 15. But we actually do have one more step. We need to simplify this fraction. So we need to ask ourselves, what is a common factor of 5 and 15? They're both divisible by 5. So now we're going to do, we have negative, and now 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the final answer is x equals 
negative one third. So remember, using least common multiples allows us to simplify an algebra problem with fractions to a basic single variable equation with whole numbers. So, all right, well, this is going to conclude this problem and this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.